I had my spleen out. I got hit by a cement truck. I crashed into a field. I'm not much of a crasher. Almost every single one of us in the team crashed. Touch wood, I've been pretty fortunate not to actually break anything so far. A deer ran out from behind the house and uh, just T-boned me. He actually didn't know even he'd hit me. Knocked some teeth out. It's all um, Had some gravel in there, which bizarrely, a couple of years ago, a little bit of gravel came out of around my eye. The doctor came in and said what I'd done, and I was just like, well, all right, you know, whack it in me. The next thing I sort of knew was the handlebars had come off the ground like that. You've ruptured your spleen and if it keeps bleeding you're going to die. I don't know what's with all these guys who crash all the time. Just avoid them, just break. <laughs> I was the first person down, just lost my front wheel. I've got a, um, I've got a hook as a hand. <laughs> well, it looks pretty nasty really. I was actually riding to the podium to pick my prize up and uh, fell, off in the, fell off in the car park right in front of the podium, right in front of everyone. So that was probably Probably a bit of an embarrassing one, really. Scars aren't really the worst problem. The worst problem for me are tan lines. My bike snapped. Well, didn't stab me in the leg, but caught my leg. I still got like a little, little bit of black something. And when I was a kid, I'd convinced myself it was a piece of carbon fibre. Like almost every single one of us in the team crashed. I remember Bruce Edgar ended up through a barbed wire fence. Cav crashed on some train tracks in the rain. You just sort of knew you weren't really getting up from that one. Like two big scars, one at the back and one at the front. Um, they took a nerve out of my out of my leg, and then like put it in the front and back of, of my shoulder. Just snapped my collarbone in three places and just like that. The guy that was running the race thought it was not a good idea to park his car about 25 metres after the finish line. So I'm travelling at 50k an hour straight into the back of his car, flew over that, broke my bike in half, and smashed my teeth out. And then I was turning around the corner, lost the front end a little bit, and I punched a rock. Looked at my hand, and my finger was poking out of my glove like this. So I just instinctively just grabbed my hand and wrapped it around my handlebar and rode to the bottom. You know when you get on the start line that there's a chance it could happen. Sometimes the faster the better. I brought down my teammate Ben Greenwood and he ended up in a lot worse condition than I was. So not much had been said at dinner that evening. Yeah, we're still good friends. We're, uh, it took a while though.